<clears throat> uh, hello everyone, I'm Thomas and Friends Productions, TNP Videos and More. Um, and this is going to be my review of the 2001 Wooden Railway Duke. Um, I got this about the same time I got my Wooden Railway Diesel, like a couple days after. I think I got it the same day I released the review of it, so whatever that day that was, um... That was the day I got Duke. And I never got around to making a review of it, even though I got it almost a month ago, I think. Maybe a little bit less, but... Now I'm finally getting around to reviewing it. I'm not really sure what my next video should be. So, um... If you have any ideas, tell me in the comments down below. I'm really trying to get work done on the Boko movie, and, um... Like, scripts, but, um, a lot of the people helping me out are, um, not available, and I know it won't be as good as if I do it myself. So, I'm sort of struggling my way through that, and I'm trying to get stuff out soon. I really am. Um, I got this Duke in used condition, so there's, like... A few scratches all around. But I think this was the first version of wooden railway models to have plastic funnels. This one has like a lot of scratches on it. That's obviously not there on other Dukes. I'm going to showcase this side because it has less scratches. Um, The face is a pretty good face. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. For Duke, I really think it portrays him well. Not the best Duke face out there. I definitely feel that there are some better Duke faces. But I really like it. It has this little edge at the back. That was prominent on uh, a lot of wooden railway engines around that time. A little bit. Uh, but those were from a couple years before. So I'm not really sure why Duke has it. Um, I think these were, like, common in, like, the 90s. So, I don't know if all the 2001 models had this, which I don't think they did. Because, actually, never mind, they don't. I have a couple of them. So, I'm not really sure why Duke does. That's sort of a strange, um, addition. Um, maybe it was... I'm not even sure. Because the only other, um... My voice is getting quieter. I need to do something real cool, quick. Let me grab a, um, my only other wooden railway model to have something like that is my wooden railway Peter Sam. And this is from 1990, 1994. So I'm not really sure why my 2001 Duke has this. It's a little strange. It has the two domes, which Duke has, and, like, these little railings. Um, they're really hard to notice on camera and in real life, but they have them on both sides, and I think that's a cool addition. His face in, uh, is rather small, and the smoke box is long, but I'm pretty sure that's how Duke looks anyway, so it's a fine addition. He has four wheels in total, which is accurate to the show, and on the bottom of him, it says Duke... I think that's the first, I think it was the second year they started doing that. I think they started in 2001. Now let's move on to the tender. There's not much to say. It's sort of um sloped at the front and then it has this weird like angle at the back. Has four wheels, which is, I'm, I'm, it's pretty obvious that that's what's in real life, I think. Because it's kind of weird for a tender to have more wheels than the main engine. If, if that's actually ever happened before, let me know. I know it's equal with a lot of them. I'm not sure if it's more with anyone else. Even just real life models, just tell me. I'm curious now. He has the um the rectangle on the side. And um I think um was it nineteen ninety nine or maybe before that that they started doing like physical coal. But here's the weird part. Here is my 
Yeah, this is 1999, Edward. The coal is, like, really tall on Duke. I, I know that's, like, a weird thing to talk about, but, like, it's a solid, like, couple millimeters taller than most tenders. I, I feel like I'm being weird talking about this, which I probably am, but, like, look, it's, like, really thin. I don't, I don't know why I decided to bring it up. It's just weird to me. Um, and on the bottom of all Duke ones, including the Mattel one, it says Duke's coal car instead of his tender, which is weird because it's not a coal car. It's a tender. And like on every other model, except for Bertram, I think, I think it said tender. So it's kind of a weird addition for Duke to have it say coal car. I don't know if that, like, all of them have, like, a factory error, because I'm pretty sure that's, um, unlikely. I'm just not really sure what's up with it. Um, by the way, thumbnail shot, just gonna take a screenshot, okay? Um, so yeah, that was my review of the Wooden Railway Duke, um, outro.